a lot, Stephen, for the, uh, for the introduction. Um, so measurement and digital measurement in particular, uh, which I'm going to focus on here today, certainly has its challenges within the emerging markets of APAC. Uh, and you can see these markets up here in blue. Uh, markets like Philippines, Indonesia, Thailand, as well as the big markets of China and India. And collectively, they represent 85% of all online users in APAC. Uh, so it's critical that we get this right. Uh, the good news is that clients are increasingly engaging around, measurement, around discussions about the right measures, uh, about having uh, a greater focus on uh, measurement and analytics. And increasingly, many of uh, the global providers are adding new services uh, within these markets but I'll touch on some of these specifically. And obviously with challenges uh, comes opportunity. Um, and we certainly are optimistic about the future of measurement. So I wanted to clear up kind of one misconception before we begin uh, about the emerging markets of APAC, and I think emerging markets more broadly around the world, and that is that they are not mobile only. There are elements of the market that are mobile first, uh, and these users are increasingly moving to uh, a multi-device world, much as we see uh, in markets like Australia, the UK, uh, and the US. Um, so that there isn't such a great distinction anymore between the emerging and the mature markets, as Stephen indicated. And as this continues to change, we have an opportunity to change our measurement approach, um, albeit slowly. So on the left here, you can see Kai Sheng on his desktop. And we can also see Kai Sheng on his mobile. But today, we see them as two individuals, though they are one. And the future will increasingly see us have an ability to identify Kai Sheng as an individual, as one person, and understand and measure his behavior across all of his associated devices. So this vision of the future, uh, which we see as, as growing in 2016, but certainly coming to fruition in 2017, as the vision for which we need to guide our discussion around measurement. But it is still true that today, and even in the future, the basic building blocks will be around desktop and mobile within the digital space. So, just to give some quick revision, we're going to run through shortly a scorecard that looks across these different key measures and assesses the different aspects of digital and where they are today within APAC in the emerging markets um, and where we see things changing in the future. So the media delivery, such as measuring impressions, viewability, this is a basic accountability measure. And it's really about knowing that you got what you paid for as an advertiser. Audience delivery is around in-target reach, um, which is typically measured against a demographic target. Behavioral measures, um, such as clicks. Attitudinal measures, such as those measured by brand impact studies, uh, such as brand uh, consideration uplift, for example. Online outcomes, so measuring on-site events, uh, such as conversions, uh, which could be things like sales leads uh, or indeed sales, and attribution. And what I'm referring to here by attribution is going beyond the misguided uh, but still common approach of last touch attribution and looking at a more fairer and accurate system of attribution that accounts and measures incrementality. So let's get into the the scorecard and see the state of health currently within APAC amongst these emerging markets. So clearly the green here represents good, the red represents bad, and the yellow is okay and somewhere in between. Um, and if we start with desktop, um, and obviously this has been a much more developed and mature market, and this is reflected in the capabilities and the adoption of measurement across this platform. And it's, it's a reasonably healthy situation. So there is basic impression and delivery tracking in place. 
Most of the audience verification partners that you would be familiar with are present in APAC, such as Comscore, Nielsen, AdMaster, AdMonitor in China. Um, however, there isn't widespread adoption at this point. So we hope that this will increase so that advertisers can get a better idea of delivery against their audiences. From a behavioral standpoint, there's a real obsession uh, uh, with, with clicks. Um, and often it comes at the expense of better measures, such as the brand at attribute and attitude measures I mentioned earlier, or measuring down funnel conversions within the site for performance campaigns. So there's certainly room for improvement, but the situation is reasonably good. What is perhaps most worrying um, is the situation with mobile. Now, some of this is simply due to a lack of vendors or a lack of standards in the market. So for example, there is still no standard from MRC around viewability within mobile. So as an industry, we need to move that position forward for the benefit uh, of clients and advertisers. Um, again, you know, there's a limitation around audience delivery measurement, and there's also within the measurement of online outcomes, challenges around measuring post-view conversions. Now, in markets like the US, UK, media lets have established quite a strong presence, and we hope that they're moving into APAC uh, in 2016 will help level the playing field in the sense of mobile getting full credit for the conversions that it deserves. Cross device, um, as I mentioned, is, is just starting up really within APAC. We're seeing providers like Tapad and Drawbridge entering the markets and starting to establish data partnerships. And I think it's really this external influence that will help clients, agencies, and advertisers start to adopt a more strategic approach to uh, cross device. So I hope that's given you a good summary of the current situation with measurement in APAC uh, today. And happy to take any questions after, uh, after Ethan's uh, session. Thanks. Thank <laughs> you.